So I had some guy come and look at this bike yesterday. And uh, he looked it over. Didn't see anything wrong with it. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. Because I don't give him to find anything wrong with it. So took it for a ride, came back. And he's all, will you take $3,000 for it? And I was like, no, price is firm. And he's like, well, I can't give you full price because the engine over here is tarnished. And I asked him, well, how does that you know, hurt the performance or the drivability of the machine? He's like, well, it's just tarnished. I won't, I won't pay full price because it's tarnished. Um, I don't know if he's expecting this thing to be chrome plated. Um, so I told him, well, price is firm. If you change your mind, let me know. And I just drove it inside and shut the door. Uh, I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. But right before he got all pissed off, he's all like, well, the joints are bad as well. You know, the ball joints. There's no, there's nothing wrong with these ball joints. <laughs> I mean, even if there was, these ball joints are 30 bucks on Amazon for a set of four, so. Yeah, but the funny thing was, he said he was looking at another one in California, but he couldn't justify spending three hundred and fifty more dollars on a, you know, because the engine wasn't the engine was tarnished. So I mean, if he wants to spend, you know, a couple hundred bu bucks fuel getting to California, by all means, buddy, go for it. So yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty comical. So anyway. Someone's supposed to be coming to look at this today. Um, got it uh, posted up for $33.50. I'm not going to take any less than that. So we'll see if he uh, bites on it. But uh, we did do the new Honda Wheels OEM. They had some offset ITPs and some other crap on there. Uh, the decal kit. Repainted the front bumper. Um... Redid the plastic gas tank up there, some uh, plastic renew. Did the uh, new choke lever there, new grips, uh, seat cover. Uh, I stole this lever off my wife's bike, the shift lever. Uh, the other one was stripped out, so I just put this one on there and got her a new one. And then we did the air filter, a battery, and Put the new exhaust tip on there, and then we uh, replaced the skin plate down there, and redid the differential fluid as well. So, we'll see if he takes it. I'm not taking anything less than 33.50. So, um, I did pay 22.50 for it. So, with parts and everything, I'm at rate of at 26.50. So, we're looking at $700 profit. And uh, it wasn't much work, but yeah, we'll see what uh, see if we can get rid of this thing for. So hopefully he's got three thirty-three fifty on, and otherwise he's gonna go hap go home an unhappy camper. But everything works good on it, so um, I did flush the brake fluid as well. Just kind of bled that through. Well, she's a good bike. Can't complain. Looks good. Looks even better out in the sun, but I'll show you some pictures of out in the sun. Yeah, she's definitely a lot brighter out here. I, know, I got a lot of uh, inquiries about the graphics kit on this thing. Everybody wanted to know where I got it from. And I just told him I got it on eBay. But um, yeah, we did replace, uh, repaint that heat shield and then the exhaust as well. Painted that black, but it's definitely a good bike.
Honda TRX 250 that I had. Um, just sold it. Uh, I got 33.50 for it. That's what I was asking. So, uh, see, I paid 22.50 for it. Put a couple hundred bucks into it. Uh, the total was right around like 26.50. So I made just a little over $700 on that sale and that flip, um, which is fine. You know, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get a whole lot out of that one. But uh, bikes are definitely not moving at this point in time. Um, it seems like there, there's a lot of bikes sitting out there. And uh, that was definitely the time to buy. So I'm gonna go buy another bike, probably 400, and uh, hang on to that one until um, probably next next uh, next Dune season. And uh, you know, I'll post it up for sale after I get it fixed up and we'll see if there's any bites. But I think if I hang on to it, it'll be worth more. So anyway, the guy just came and picked it up. It's for his kid. Um, definitely be happy with it. And like I said, we made $700 profit, just over 700. It was like 7, 712 or 714, some change. So um, yeah, I was on the market for you know tomorrow. Sunday will be two weeks exactly. So I was kind of sweating it, you know, I was getting a lot of boat low ball offers, but I wasn't budging on the price. So anyway, it's sold, it's gone. We'll get another project going, see what we can find.